While we were off for the break, we had a chance to visit with the Boulder Ensemble Theatre Company while they prepared for their production of the Sandaland Diaries. They graciously invited us to their tech rehearsal, our first visit with the Boulder Ensemble Theatre Company. We are in our fourth season and uh, we wanted to expand a bit and, and start uh, doing some, uh, ha giving some new offerings to our patrons. So we wanted to do a holiday production. Uh, we also uh, wanted to do something a little different. Uh, there's uh, you know, lots of great productions of The Nutcracker, Christmas Carol, a lot of traditional holiday offerings. Uh, but uh, knowing David Sedaris and knowing the story, <laughs> we thought that it would be something uh, appropriate for people who maybe wanted something a little different than the normal holiday fair. And what makes this one a little different? Uh, well, um, it, uh, it, it looks at Christmas from a different angle. It looks at this from a, um, a person who, uh, because he had no other alternative, works as an elf at Macy's Santa Land. Mm -hmm. um, and so he gets sort of an insider's view um, to uh, how parents, children, department stores, uh, commerce treats Christmas. Um, and uh, it's very funny, but I think it also uh, really tells us a lot about um, how we do treat Christmas and how maybe we, we can and should treat Christmas. How would you describe this play for someone who's not heard of it yet? Well, it's, it was, <clears throat> it's based off of The Sandaland Diaries, the story by David Sedaris, a uh, fantastic writer, very popular on public radio. Mm -hmm. um, I think his text works really well out loud. I mean, he, he reads his own material, and when you hear it, it's got a, a snappy kind of dialogue feel to it. Um, and this is about when he went to New York, he was out of work and needed a job and looking through the one eds and found this job to work as an elf at Macy's. And this is, this is the story of him deciding to apply for it, um, interviewing, being trained to be an elf and what that experience is like. And then the zany people that surround him. So there's the other elves, the other Santas, and of course the parents and children that come to Macy's. Um, and that's, that's kind of lays it out. That's his experience. Does this experience doing this play uh, sort of get you in the holiday spirit? No, it cures me of my <laughs> holiday spirit. Uh, it, it's, it's not an agenda-driven piece. It's just a wonderful piece of entertainment. It's very light and, and kind of frothy and, and fun. Uh, but it, it does point out some of the materialism of Christmas. It certainly has a little bit of a, mm -hmm. a, a nudge wink at parents losing sight of what Christmas can really be and making it be about gifts and being about forcing their children to have a certain experience. Um, so for me, this is enough Christmas for me. <laughs> um, wearing, wearing candy cane tights pretty much gets you, gets you in, both in the mood and out of the mood for Christmas. Well, I think you look charming in those candy cane tights. <laughs> now, obviously this is a holiday job mm -hmm. uh, for this character. Uh, what was the worst or most interesting holiday job you've ever had? Oh my goodness. Well, I, my first job was working um, at Benson's Animal Park. Um, when I was 15 years old, where uh, I had to, um, par I like pointed where cars would park and picked diapers out of the parking lot, you know, and all that, that really that first kind of job-itis that you have. Mm -hmm. And there's a moment in this play where he talks about people tossing and having, him having to mop up vomit and pick up spent diapers hidden in Santa Land that parents have dropped off. And uh, I have a lot of emotional recall of my days at Benson's Animal Park. This theater is actually quite charming. It's, it's a big black box theater. Mm -hmm. And if someone hasn't come to it, a performance here, obviously this would be a good time to try it. But how would you describe the experience of working for the Boulder Ensemble Theater? Well, they're, this, they're a fantastic company. This is their, I, don't, I might get this wrong, but I think this is their fourth, or fourth year um, on the scene. And I, I grew up doing theater in, in Boulder. I mean, this is my hometown. So I, and then and theaters had a hard time sustaining a life in Boulder. And sometimes it's difficult for companies to stick around. And what they've done is they've picked really challenging plays um, uh, and, and also entertaining plays. And they kind of create this programming that is a blend of those two things. The play before me was Sunset Unlimited by Cormac McCarthy, mm -hmm. quite different from this, although both writers. Um, and then their play after this is The Clean House. So they kind of, they, they, they're building these wonderful seasons and they're also tapped into the best actors and designers. So I think that the work they put up on the stage is of really high quality. Um, and people who come to see one play tend to kind of want to come see the next one. So that's, it's nice to be a part of that. In addition to your work here, you also work for the Colorado Shakespeare Festival? I do, I do. Um, the, the great thing about growing up here is very slowly I've had a chance to work at, uh, as I kind of worked my way into theater, mm -hmm. um, had a chance to work at some great places. And uh, I get to act at the Denver Center Theater Company, and I'm also a resident acting company member at the Colorado Shakespeare Festival. This summer will be my 
eighth season there, I think. So what has coming up for you after the holiday? Well, um, after um, I don the candy cane leggings and then <laughs> take them off on December 20th, uh, I'll be doing uh, a play, two plays at the Denver Center, Eventide, um, which is a wonderful novel and an adaptation uh, and a sequel to Plain Song, a play they did a couple years ago, and then Othello at the Denver Center. And then I'll be back in Boulder this summer at the Colorado Shakespeare Festival. So what's coming up next for the Boulder Ensemble Theater Company? Uh, we are, our last show of the fourth season is The Clean House by Sarah Rule. Um, it uh, will be performed April 1st to the 17th, um, and it is starring uh, Jamie Ann Romero, who's a fantastic uh, regional actor. Uh, she was in the Denver Center production of Sunsets and Margaritas, mm -hmm. and is also at the uh, Colorado Shakespeare uh, Festival's production of A Christmas Carol right now. So how do we find out about getting tickets to come see the Sandaland Diaries and your next productions? Uh, we have a, um, a fantastic website that's always changing and always has lots of new information added, and it's boulderensembletheater.org. Uh, right. Our thanks to the Boulder Ensemble Theater Company for a look behind the scenes at the Sandaland Diaries. It was a sold-out run, but here's a special peek just for you. Merry Christmas, everybody.